Are you tired of filming a video, editing it, and putting it up on YouTube to get five views? Well, if you want to find out how to get more views and to actually rank your video in search, make sure you stay tuned and watch this entire video because I'm going to give you the biggest secret there is. My name is Megan. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome and please hit that subscribe button down below if you want to see more YouTube related content. Also, give this video a big thumbs up because why not? And it really supports my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about how you can rank your videos in search, even being a small YouTuber, and gain more views using keywords. If you want to find out more, Make sure you stay tuned and let's head to my office so we can sit down and have a little chat. Okay, let's sit you down right here. Okay guys, so I hope you don't mind, but I'm going to put on some makeup while I sit here and talk to you guys about keywords so one of the best ways to get your videos to show up in search and what I mean by this is when you go to YouTube and type something in the search bar and search what video you're looking for the first couple of videos that show up those are the videos that rank at the top of that search and because of that those videos get more views so if I can tell you how to do that don't you want to know if so, keep watching this video. Right after I put on my foundation, I am going to tell you step-by-step -step guide on how to rank your videos in search by just using keywords. So, I'll be right there in three, two, one. Okay guys, so I have my foundation on now and I'm pretty sure y'all don't really care. You just want me to get to the list. So, here it is. Your First step that you want to do is to download the app TubeBuddy. It is free. You can download it on your computer, your iPad, your iPhone, whatever device you are using. And I actually have it on all three of my devices so I can keep track of everything. TubeBuddy actually has a free version and a subscription version. I have the subscription version because I wanted to take my channel up a notch and if you want to do the same i suggest that you buy the subscription there are two levels to the subscription and i have the cheaper level of the subscription and i find it sufficient enough but with the free version you don't get as many perks as you do when you're paying for the service but it all works the same so you can go ahead and download tubebuddy and then we'll get started on step number two after you download TubeBuddy, we are going to go to the Keyword Explorer and I have a screenshot on the screen right now of what the Keyword Explorer looks like. And then you just want to search what kind of uh, keywords you're looking for depending on the video you are filming. Let's go get my computer. So we can take a look at the Keyword Explorer. Here she is. So let's head back to my office. Okay, so I have my computer now. And we are just gonna go ahead and go to TubeBuddy and then pull up the Keyword Explorer. So for this video, I went ahead and did the Keyword Explorer to try to find keywords for this exact video. And this is the way you're gonna do it when you're looking for your video. So this video is about keywords and optimizing your videos. So the first keyword I looked up in the Keyword Explorer 
is keyword itself and this is a short tail keyword meaning it is very general and not specific so most of the time the short tail keywords are not the best to use if you are a small youtuber as you can see right here under the summary and the overall score you have weighted and this is where TubeBuddy takes into account how many followers you have, how many subscribers, how many your average views are and everything for your specific channel. And then you have unweighted and that is just in general not taking your account into consideration. So as you can see by this screenshot, keyword was a poor word for my channel. It landed in the red zone, which means it is bad for me to use and um, it got a 10 out of 100 score specific to my channel but if we clicked on unweighted it may be good for better or more followed youtubers so the search volume for keyword is excellent meaning a lot of people search for this keyword when searching on youtube Competition is poor because so many people have made a video on this that it would be almost impossible for me to rank and search just using this keyword. Okay, and then if you look at the next line that says optimization strength, this is how well other people's videos are optimized around this keyword. So as you can see, it's poor, which means not a lot of people do a good job of optimizing their videos when they use this keyword. Okay, so now we are gonna try to type in something more detailed or long-tailed keywords. That way we have a better chance of finding a keyword that's gonna work for us. So my next keyword that I looked up was how to find keywords 2020. And I actually looked at the unweighted version of this just to kind of give y'all a difference between weighted and unweighted and as you can see this would be an awesome keyword for somebody who is more followed on YouTube to actually make a video on because it is in the very good section there is a fair amount of search volume for this competition is very good meaning the competition is low for this video and you're more likely to rank at the top of search if you use these keywords. Next is the optimization strength, which it seems to be excellent, meaning people have actually done a good job of optimizing their videos around this specific tag. I also want to point out just in this um, screenshot, if you look over here, um, there are other options that you can click on to see related tags that People may search when they look up this kind of video on YouTube and you also have common video tags that you can save to your channel. That way, if you decide to use these keywords, you can actually save the tags to use for your video. Daisy May, say hello. I also just wanted to mention the box down here and that is views, but don't pay attention to the views as much because YouTube's algorithm actually takes watch time and engagement as a priority over views. So views in this case is not the most important aspect of TubeBuddy. So this entire process takes me probably about an hour to do because I search so many keywords to find what specifically works for my channel and how I can get my video to rank in search so that I can get more views on YouTube. And I highly recommend that you do this as well if you want to get more views on YouTube and to turn those views into subscribers. So y'all, I believe doing your research and using the right keywords, especially long-tailed keywords in your videos can actually make your video rank and search and help you grow your YouTube channel faster. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And before we leave, this is this week's video shout out right here. And her name is Martine Rigard. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm sorry, Martine, if I am not. I hope you're doing well, girl. And her channel is just amazing. So y'all go check her out. If you want to be the next shout out, 
make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on Instagram and then comment on this video saying you did those things and you might be next week's shout out. So with that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you're new here and follow me on Instagram if you want to be next week's shout out. I love you and I will see you next time. Bye.